Well, we're here at the green carpet at the uh, Environmental Media Awards, which is an amazing award show that, that honors everyone in the uh, industry that has helped put great messages, green messages, environmental messages in film and television, and, uh, and helping like, make this world a, a better place. And I'm just honored to be able to host it tonight. Uh, I've been the, uh, on the board of uh, Emma's for a, a long time now, and now I'm the chair of the Young Hollywood Board. And uh, I'm just excited to see how big this event gets every single year. We have so many amazing honors tonight, and we have um, a white banner for doing it. You know, 25 years ago, it was very nichey and elitist and small, and I think that it wasn't something, caring about the environment was something that the enviros did, and the and the world didn't know about it. Either you were like a diehard environmentalist because you know generations ago that's what your family did, um, and nobody else really knew about it. Um, now this is what you do if you're in pop culture, and if it's if it's tr you know this is trendy and sexy, and this is the thing to do if you're you know if you, if you know this is this is what you do if you want to have a healthy family. Well, her work with GMO labeling, labeling is extraordinary and very important. We were lobbying, rather campaigning down in, in Washington. She was so eloquent and articulate with speaking with Barbara Boxer and Senator Leahy. Um, I, I'm just always astonished at, at, her, at her articulate capabilities, which I don't have. She's extremely eloquent, and I'm so proud of her passion and her, her mind, her heart and mind coming together and speaking so well for the cause. Well, I'll tell you, um, I am very, very proud to be a part of an organization called Green for All. Green for All is a national organization. We have created about 10,000 jobs for low-income people putting up solar panels, uh, making organic gardens. We're fighting pollution and poverty at the same time by making sure that uh, when we have these green solutions, they aren't just for the eco-elite. You know, we want to make sure that ordinary people get more work, more wealth, and better health as we transition to a clean energy economy. So that's what I'm focused on. Well, big time. I grew up in the outback of Australia, and it's a big semi-arid desert with most of the population living on the coast. And even as a kid, I was aware of the big skies, the changing landscape. All of our stories, all of our music, all of our literature, all of our movies are mainly about figures of the landscape. So we're very acutely aware of it. And I've been, I've been fortunate enough to have had a medical education and to the extent that medicine is a science, I understand a lot about scientific method. Stuff is happening out there, and if we don't pay attention to it, and if we don't do something about it, you know, it's, we, we, we're going to get into big problems. And we all talk about it, but I'm not sh we're all confused about what to do about it. So this is a big deal to me. And the fact that it's seeping through into our stories, you know, our movies, you know, the Happy Feats and the Mad Maxes, that's, it happens naturally. I can't help it. That's who I am. And I think it's a big deal. And, and, and the fact that people are recognizing it all the, you know, all the way across the world and saying, hey, that's, that's good. You're getting it into your stories. That's a big deal to me. I made a documentary about this organization that I know called the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. I found an orphan elephant in 2009. I happened to be on safari in Kenya and I took her to Daphne Sheldrick who knows how to hand raise an orphan elephant and reintroduce it into the wild. Right in 2009 is when the poaching crisis was escalating. Right now, every 15 minutes an elephant is killed for its tusks and they will be extinct in 10 to 15 years if we don't do anything. That's why I made the film. That's why I'm here tonight. We have to all wake up and fight. 
Yeah. So it just kind of organically happened, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh my god, I don't know how to do this.